Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme fa'ni bima allemteni ve allemni bima yemfa'ni ve zidni ilmen ünnekel alimul hakim. My topic today is about pneumothorax in short talk dealing with causes and some of the radiological findings. Hoping you will like this talk. Most common symptoms with a pneumothorax is sudden dyspnea and chest pain. And a pneumothorax can be also asymptomatic. So when radiograph examination underestimate the size and the presence of air in the pleural space. Uh, Radiographic signs for the pneumothorax, deep sulcus sign, hyperlucent anterior costophonic sulcus over above abdomen quadrant, abdominal quadrant in, in I mean in the subpulmonic area, and increased visualization of the diaphragm and cardiac contour anterior medially. Expiratory examination increased the proportional size of the pneumothorax to hemothorax and it's in detecting air in the pleural space. Spontaneous pneumothorax, usually younger adults and tall individuals and smokers. Complication <coughs> We have tension in pneumothorax, it is life-threatening complication. Radiographic findings, contralateral mediastinal shift, and hemodynamic compromised, commonly seen in a trauma or mechanical ventilation. Re-expansion pulmonary edema, lung re-expansion can cause capillary leak, and it is common after large pneumothorax in younger patient. In pneumomediastinum, most common in a neonate and in adults being mechanically ventilated. What are the mimickers of pneumothorax? Skin fold, chest tube tract, scapular ridge, and companion of the ribs. Shadow. The differential diagnosis of pneumothorax we have common, less common, and real but important causes. The common causes of pneumothorax include spontaneous pneumothorax, traumatic pneumothorax, blunt or penetrating thoracic injury, iatrogenic, obstructive pulmonary disease, interstitial lung disease connective tissue disease, immunologic infection, and pneumothorax mimickers. Helpful signs for common causes, spontaneous pneumothorax, usually due to a rupture of a small body or blip. Familial pneumothorax occasionally reported, may be treated conservatively with chest tube drainage. Here we see coronal CT scan and a large amount of uh, anterior pneumothorax noted on the right side and deep sulcus sign. And we have uh, in bo both lungs centrilobular emphysema. Here chest X-ray demonstrated thin white line of the visible blower are outlined by the large pneumothorax in this in this young man with smoker with the smoking. Traumatic 
the, it is a blunt or penetrating thoracic injury. In pneumothoraces result from alveolar compression, pulmonary laceration, tracheobronchial disruption, and barotoma. Pulmonary laceration in both blunt and penetrating trauma persistent immune in pneumothorax due to air leak or bronchoblower fistula. Here we have a non-contrast axial CT scan. We have right pneumothorax noted with extensive surgical emphysema, subcutaneous surgical emphysema noted bilaterally and a small bully noted on the right side. Here, frontal chest X-ray tension and pneumothorax with mediastinal shift and collapse of the right lung and appear like this. And we have uh, this is due to bullet fragments in the left hemithorax, this one and that one. Iatrogenic complication of biopsy procedure, either transthoracic needle aspiration underlying emphysema and transbronchial biopsy and colonoscopy. Complication of therapeutic procedures, thoracosynthesis, central venous catheterization, mechanical ventilation, and the tracheal intubation. Also, mechanical ventilation can cause this. Obstructive pulmonary disease, most common cause of secondary spontaneous pneumothorax and complication of centrilobular or baroreceptal pulmonary emphysema, as asthma, and cystic fibrosis. Interstitial lung disease, lymphangiomyomatosis, pneumothorax developed in 80% of cases at some point. Langerhans histocytosis in pneumothorax developed in about 25%. Sarcoidosis associated with diffuse bronchial disease, necrosis of the subdural granuloma, and bilateral and recurrent. Interstitial pulmonary fibrosis in pneumothorax and or pneumomediastinum can be developed in about 10% cases, 10 of cases. Here we have non contrast coronal CT scan, multiple thin walls throughout the lungs with a subpulmonary pneumothorax located in the right subpulmonary area in this patient with lymphangiomyomatosis. Another patient with bilateral reticular pattern with the traction uh, a bronchiectasis with left-sided pneumothorax in this patient with interstitial pulmonary emphysema. Connective uh, in this patient with the interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, sorry. A connective tissue disease uh, like rheumatoid arthritis caused necrosis of the subabdural necrotic nodule. Marfan syndrome pneumothoraces are commonly bilateral and recurrent. Other respiratory abnormalities are bully, cyst, and emphysema. Ehlers-Danlos syndrome in pneumothorax is common in type 4, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome associated with skeletal abnormalities on the chest X-ray. Here, this patient with axial contrast enhanced CT scan, a small amount of pneumothorax noted on the right side in this patient with rheumatoid arthritis, and we have nodule on the left side. Immunologic, we have the Wigner granulomatosis and usually associated with active vasculitis and subabdural excavated nodule. A bronchocentric granulomatosis, necrotizing granulomatosis, 
No. Inflammation without associated vasculitis or associated with allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis in about 50% of cases. Here we have surgical emphysema, surgical subcutaneous emphysema, and we have a small amount of the right pneumothorax. and the small dilated airway at the point of contact to the blower. Infection, a bronchoblower fistula may be complicate necrotizing pneumonia, and aerobic tuberculosis or biogenic, post infectious pneumatosis resulting from uh, pneumocystis or staph Staphylococcus infection, and your invasive aspergillosis, hematogenous dissemination with invasion of the small arteries, vascular occlusion, and often infarction, particularly common in neutropenic stem cell transplant patient and immunocompromised patient with HIV due to pneumocystis infection. Here we have a right-sided pneumothorax with multiple cysts involving in patient with AIDS and due to pneumocystis infection. Here another patient with the right-sided pneumothorax and ill-defined central ovular nodules and the bronchopneumonia seen on the right lower lobe. Less common causes, we have metastasis, pulmonary infarction. Metastasis like uh, osteosarcoma, synovial cell sarcoma, angiosarcoma, and leiomyosarcoma, frequently after induction of chemotherapy. And we have multiple nodules of metastasis on the left lung with left sided pneumo thorax in this patient with osteosarcoma. Pulmonary infarction, septic and aseptic emboli with infective endocarditis and intravenous drug user. The rare causes we have a catamenial pneumothorax and Bert Hogg DV syndrome. Catamenial pneumothorax developed pneumothorax during menstruation from migrated endometrial tissue to the blower and 85 to 95% of cases are on the right side and it is cyclic. Less than one third of cases associated with bulbic endometriosis. Here we have contrast enhanced CT scan with the patient with endometrial tissue implantation to the blower with the right sided pneumothorax. Bert Hogg DB syndrome, a dominant inherited disease, benign skin tumors, diverse tumor, diverse types of renal cell carcinoma, pulmonary cyst in 80% and spontaneous pneumothorax. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.